Oh yeah, it's The Adventures of Barb and Christine, week four, the Wildfire Smoke Edition. Uh, it is a, a Sunday, um, September 13th, and uh, we we didn't do anything this weekend. Um, as you can see from my little driving time lapse here, the amount of smoke hanging around the atmosphere is just so thick uh, that any outside activity really felt uh, like a very poor decision health-wise. So... Uh, yeah, we just hunkered down and enjoyed a couple afternoons together and uh, uh, watched the Seahawks play and the Mariners and and uh, planned for uh, more fun next weekend. Uh, but uh, rather than skip the vlog this week, I figured I would just do a little voiceover of my drive up north. Um, so, uh, so here you go. Uh, let's talk air quality real quick here. Um, that's certainly the uh, kind of the name of the name of the game these days. Uh, with all those fires going on in, uh, in, in California and Oregon and even in Washington, um, all the smoke is just blanketing the West Coast. And uh, uh, ooh, it's, uh, it's bad. Um, I've done uh, a little research and it's got some air quality apps and it seems to be broken down into about six categories ranging from uh, just fine to uh, very hazardous to your health. Um, and this is uh, kind of on the, the bad side of, of things here. Um, not the worst. Uh, there, there, there's two other categories beyond what we're looking at here. Um, this is red, so between 150 to 200 uh, parts per billion or, or of, of particulate matter. Um, not good. Not good at all. It's actually better than the day before when you couldn't even see the darn uh, see the the sky and the sun and everything looked brown. Um, hopefully it gets better, but uh, it's it's just bad. I mean, my goodness. Hopefully this blows out, and uh, I'd like to think that this is the worst it's ever going to be, uh, and not the new normal for the summertime. Oof. Um, anywho, uh, I, I got a couple of comparisons I can show you here of some spots uh, from a week ago to today uh, that I found on Facebook. Um, not good, but uh, again, the weather forecast seems to show that it's going to blow out of the, of the area, hopefully by this time tomorrow. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll certainly give an update in next week's vlog, which hopefully includes more than just me talking over a driving time lapse. Anywho, uh, what did I do this week? Uh, when last we spoke, dear viewers, I think I was headed towards a retirement party from my predecessor at Birch Bay, and and uh, and that went down. That was awesome. Um, had a chance to um, wish her well and send her off into the sunset of retirement. <laughs> Be nice. Uh, and and um, you know, hear some stories uh, from from my new team now and. They're uh, working together, and it just felt it just felt good, you know. In a non-pandemic year, we probably would have had a great party for Janice, but at least we could uh, get together and, and show her some love um, before she, uh, yeah, does move out of the area or move on to whatever's coming next. Um, beyond uh, that, it was just a nice full day of or full week of work. Um, you know, funny how getting back into the swing of things makes you remember that uh, days just fly when you're when you're busy and focused on the job. Um, but you know, the, the fun thing that I'm doing is, uh, exploring different restaurants, uh, for dinner each night. And on Monday, I was going to check out this, this chicken place called Gallows. I think it's a, uh, um, Portuguese themed place or inspired or maybe a Portuguese family, who knows? Um, so I drove over there and, and anyway, they were closed. Look at that. <laughs> Labor day, closed for Labor day. My goodness. Not, uh, not what I was looking for in a, in a dinner stop. Uh, uh well, strike one. Uh, Tuesday, this time I was going to withdraw some cash to go to that taco truck uh, and, and the ATM. I, I went to the ATM Tuesday morning before work. It wouldn't give me cash. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, I promise I have money in the account. But meh. anyway, um, wound up at California Taco and had some good carne asada tacos. They were, they were, they were good. Uh, I will hit the taco truck this week. Uh, I'll get some cash a day in advance at least. Uh, but that was that was good. Wednesday I did hit the Gallows place, got some good uh, uh, a good chicken salad, and uh, yeah, that was that was delicious, very tasty. Um, and then uh, and then yeah, what else happened this week? Um, just uh, a couple drive-bys of the apartment. Uh, looks like we'll probably be moving in sometime uh, late next week, and uh, before long we'll be we'll be belling hamsters. You know, <laughs> pretty excited about that. Uh, yeah, so. Anyway, sorry to bore you with a kind of a weird uh, driving centric, uh, no no real footage of Farber Christine here, uh, but I did run into one of my old coworkers at Target. 
and uh, she's working there now and might be uh, might be looking to get, add Christine to her team when, when Christine gets up north here. So uh, things are definitely looking up. I'm very excited to be uh, drop an anchor for good and, and forget the silly week long weekend commute action. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, happy to be back in Bellingham, even if, even if it is very smoky. And uh, we'll we'll uh, try and get some better footage next week. We got Katzenberg we got to do. Got to at least try one more time to see if I can find that heron. And uh, and yeah, and definitely want to get those tacos this week. So anyway, catch y'all later. Catch you on the flippity. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.